Hi, I'm Christelle DeCastro. I'm a photographer, filmmaker, and art director. I am the creative director of Stoneman and Top Rank Magazine. What is your proudest work accomplishment? I would have to say that the biggest thing, or something that I did not too long ago that I was kind of like, holy shit, I can't believe I did that, um, was finishing Red Bull Music Academy. So basically it was a month long commission um, and I, I went into that month, you know, not really knowing what to expect because every day was going to be kind of a crazy thing. Like, a part of the job was um, basically photojournalistic work, which was shooting all of these students that came from all over the world um, on a day-to-day -day basis, um, following them from in the studio to the shows that they 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 threw in the evenings. And then, and also shooting portraits of some really amazing artists, um, you know, like Brian Eno or um, uh, Q-Tip, you know, and, and, and sometimes I didn't have very much time with, with, with those artists, so it was like constantly super challenging. I, I kind of didn't really know what to expect from day to day, but I, I finished that month really pleased with my work. and. Um, and I guess it was one of those situations where I like proved to myself that I was I, I, I could do something on that scale um, and with that amount of pressure and still come out okay and, and, and actually like the work. How did you start in the industry? What early mistake you made would you want beginners to avoid? I basically moved to New York in 2008 uh, from San Francisco. Um, in San Francisco I was I was an artist, so I was mostly concerned with with making work and throwing art shows and 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 being in art shows and and all of that. I moved to New York because I wanted to start getting published and I wanted to start basically turning photography into into a career. And when I moved here, it just so happened that opening ceremony was thinking about launching an ecom. So I applied, and that that photography job basically evolved into becoming photo director. So I was at opening ceremony for two years and I left in 2010 and since then I've been freelance. So I, I basically I shoot fashion, I take portraits of musicians and I direct videos. Okay, so early mistakes. I, I've made a lot of mistakes so I, I, I'm, I'm having a hard time answering this question only because I, I, I don't even know which one to talk about. One really big mistake that I made um, back in like 2005 or, or 2006 was, um, so I got my first solo show. I don't even fucking know like how this happened, but my first solo show ever, I, I was in New York City and it was at the showroom NYC, which was, I don't believe it's open anymore, but it was in the East Village. And I was super excited, super stoked. So I maxed out two credit cards to print all of my work, get it all framed, and then ship everything from San Francisco to New York. And I basically finished that month with, you know, printing and shipping and living in New York for a month and all that. I, I, I basically spent eight Gs. I maxed out two cards, spent $8,000, um, and then with interest rates and all of that, it kind of, it snowballed into 10 Gs, and that, and, and I didn't sell anything, mind you. I didn't sell jack shit at the show, which is fine. And um, it, it really wasn't about selling the work for me. It was really about like putting on a strong show and having people turn up. And um, But I was $10,000 in the hole, and it took me years to pay that off. So uh, I, I would have been, I wish I would, I wish I would have been a little smarter about that. I think, um, it's super important to take risks as an artist and as an entrepreneur, and I will always, always, always veer on the side of, of being a risk taker, but just try and be a little smarter about your money. In addition to being smarter with money, don't you, you don't have to go crazy buying every single fucking gadget in sight. You might have a badass camera, but if you're not making work, you know, it, whatever. People can get really consumed with having the latest this and the, and the latest that and oh I have this lens and I and I upgraded my camera to this and that. So what? What what work are you making? You know what I mean? Like save your money. You don't have to buy everything. Don't let these gadgets um, uh, and, and tools define you I guess. Like you know what I mean? Like you're only as good as, as, as your last photograph. 
you don't need to own everything to be a real photographer. You can rent stuff if you don't have um, the money to, to, to buy you know, your own gear. Be smart about your money um, and yeah. Hard work is a given for success, but what really sets someone apart as a photographer? Hard work is not a given for success. Just because you work hard doesn't mean you'll be successful. Um, you have to be smart about your time. You have to be, you know, have good time management, be a good communicator, um, be a good leader, uh, follow through on deadlines, you know, show up for things on time, be good to your team, be thankful to your team, be thankful to those around you helping you shape your vision. Be strategic with your work and your time and practice, practice your shit. Be good to your craft and, and it will be good to you, hopefully. What do you think about when you market yourself? How do you present your work in the best light possible? Um, I probably don't market myself enough. I don't have the authority over this question, but the way I like to present my work is uh, just kind of, you know, my website is pretty clean and straightforward. That's kind of how I like to market my stuff. I think my photographs look best basically just kind of straightforward on like a pretty plain, straightforward, sleek, clean website. I have these business cards that are kind of cool. It's, it's a personal preference. I, I like things pretty just like straightforward and clean. So um, th that doesn't necessarily mean that's going to be the best for your work. To each their own. I say if, if your website looks great, you know, with patterns and colors and things like that, and then rock with that. What's the best way to get clients and collaborators? The best way to keep clients, I think, is to give them the best product you possibly can, and then on top of that, just have a good work ethic. Be a reliable person, um, and be a good human. Be someone you know who's a pleasure to work with. Nobody likes a dick. Nobody likes a creep. Just be chill, and and I think that's that's what will keep clients coming back to you, and and that's how you'll get um, really great referrals. I think just try and be a good human. I think for both clients and collaborators, if you're into someone's work, whether you want to work with them or not, maybe someone just inspires you and, and strikes a chord uh, with you, I, I think it's not a bad idea to reach out and email them and say, hey, loved what you did, you know, or, you know, this was super inspiring, thank you. And if you can, try and get a coffee with that person. But even if you're not trying to work with them or collaborate with them, you never know what can happen, you know. At the, at the very least, you, you, have a, you have a new cool friend that inspires you. What's the best way to optimize your vFiles profile to get jobs? My advice would be to not put everything you've ever shot or ever done on your vFiles. Really make it your best work. An early mistake I made when I, uh, when I just started shooting was um, I put every fucking thing on my website. I, recently looked back at my old site and I, I basically had to remove like 80% of it because most of it was shitty. Really make it just the, your best work um, and if you need help doing that, have a few friends look at your stuff. Have a, you know, a couple friends that you, that you trust, that, that a, you know, some friends that know you well and, and, and survey them and see what, what they think is like your best work and really just make it you know, make it a nice, clean, tight, strong edit. Aside from that, I think it would be really helpful to do like overview galleries. So maybe you have like a little overview galleries of like all the musicians you've ever shot or an overview gallery of, um, of your fashion work. That way, you know, someone who's on your V-Files that maybe only has like two, three minutes to, to skim can look at those overviews and, and kind of get the breadth of your work. My must-haves. Um, I shoot with a Canon uh, Mark II. I still have the Mark II. I own two lenses. I have the 24 to 70, which is on the camera right now, and then I have this <clears throat> 70 to 200, which I love. When I shoot film, I shoot with my Nikon FM3A, which is the camera that I learned how to shoot with. So I've had this uh, since I was 19. Those are pretty much my my must-haves, and and I have a light meter somewhere that I really love. Um, but anyway, those are my must-haves. That pretty much does it for all of the questions. I hope that wasn't too boring, and I hope that you got something out of this. 
thank you guys for having me. Thank you, V-Files. I love you guys, and see you around. Bye.